I'm Nicola Coughlin. This is Camilla White. Hello. I play Maggie in Big Mood. It's a show about female friendship, um, people in their 30s, about mental illness. Um, and it's a comedy that deals with some dark things, but it's very, very funny. But are you manic? You know what comes next. It balances the line between really serious and like hysterical so well. And kind of like, how did you manage that? Like, it's such a fine line. I honestly, I think it's just the only way I know. Um, uh, if I had to write like a beautiful drama, I would do really badly, I think, because I, it's just, I always, I, I would make a joke in like the saddest circumstance yeah, you would, yeah. and like actively do. Um, it's just the way I see the world. I'm always like, God, that's awful. But. <laughs> It's kind of funny. Where's gag? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it is life, like it's sad, 100%. but it, it's funny. And obviously your character has bipolar. Mm -hmm. And maybe you could talk me through a little bit about how you did like research for that. I give the same answer with every job and it's boring, but it's true. But I think your Bible is the script and that's the most important thing. So I did do some research like... Um, there's a great film, actually Camilla recommended it, called The Devil and Daniel Johnston. That was really interesting. There was some, there's actually some really great Vice documentaries about it. And I think, but then again, it was more so just charting Maggie's story and where she was, because like we would film four episodes sometimes in one day. And you know, that's one episode where she's manic and one episode where she's depressed and one episode where she's back on her meds. So it was, it was charting that that was the difficult thing. Also, I didn't have a lot of time because I was still filming Bridgerton for half of Big Mood. So it was like, I didn't have the time to stress and, and think about it Which too much. Which I think is good. Sometimes it's good. It's better. I think sometimes yeah. it is, because you can't Throw you in the deep end. Right? Yeah. 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 So and how about yourself, like, mm. riding it then? I guess you're saying you're referencing the script, like, no pressure to get it mm. kind of spot on. How was that research process for you? I'm not a big researcher. She hates it. Uh, yeah, I hate it. Uh, I just trust the characters and went with their journey. Do you want this? It was a moment, the moment's over. <laughs> I think it's just really lovely how you've put, like, friendship at the forefront and like, mm -hmm, why was that mm -hmm. important to you to like showcase that so heavily? I mean, friendships have been some of the most important relationships of my life. I think our generation value friendship even more than previous, I think, because your chosen family is a, a, a genuinely important part of your life in a way maybe it wasn't before. Um, and I think the peaks and troughs of those relationships can have as much an adverse or positive effect on you as a romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. And I just really wanted to honour that, I guess. Yeah. And it's funny. A friendship Friendships breakup funny. is like... Heartbreaking. Oh, it's devastating. It's heartbreaking. I have some that I still like, I'm not okay over but yeah. it's that it's you we are uh -oh. feuding it's really bad i think it's so cool how you were filming bridgerton at the same time as this and the yeah. characters are like so so different firstly was it nice to play somebody a bit closer to your age <laughs> it was honestly it was really thrilling for me yeah because i was like i can wear like a push-up bra and i can wear lipstick and i can do all these things yeah. and, and you're also, allowed to do your accent for like and i'm allowed to yeah and i don't have to that. do another accent yeah, yeah. <laughs> no it was it was really good fun but also like maggie's a lot cooler than i'll ever be so it was quite fun playing that and like that kind of girl, someone that just has like a lot of like self-confidence. Okay. And like that she will walk into her principal's office and be like, hey, <laughs> yeah, you know, I was me. like, yeah, <laughs> but like that was, I loved that side of her very, very yeah. much. Yeah. Was well, there that's also a manic episode. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking. <laughs> it was so fun to do. Yeah. yeah. That, what was it like with the crossover with the characters? Were you ever kind of like, was yeah, there I any felt, I felt fully mad for like But that kind of worked for Maggie. It kind of worked. I just had no time to think about it. Like I would be yeah. on the set of Bridgerton with my big mood script trying to learn it and vice versa. And it was it was fully insane and so intense. I cried loads just from sheer exhaustion. Yeah, but, but now I've seen them both. The I'm character. like, great. I'm actually happy. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. I'm so glad you put yourself through that. Thank so you. thank you. <laughs> the love actually party. I feel inspired. My birthday's coming up. So. Oh, do it. Why not? Uh -oh. If you guys were to dress up as a love actually character, oh. Who are you going with? If I was going to steal a costume from set, I really did love Will's eel costume. Yeah, that was tongue? really good. He yeah. got really into it. He, he yeah. was feeling that eel. Yeah. I have a hat that you call my Kira Knightley hat. Yeah, I really make fun of her for it. You know the yeah. hat she wears in the film? It's like a fake like, actually look yeah. Nicola wears a... In her I wear it life. sometimes, yeah. Oh, ironically, I love want it. Look, I make I fun of it so much. It's like if you want to go like low key and not really get on this, like, but she calls it my Kira hat, so yeah. I would probably have You'd to have go to wear that and wear that off the shoulder. I can do the. This is, yeah, yeah, yeah we can get into very it. Yeah. Um, I also love in the opening scene the way you're like, I was really influenced by a TikTok ad. Yeah. Have you ever been inspired better or worse by TikTok ads? Constantly, um, almost. I have the most porous mind. Like you can advertise yeah. anything to me and I'll be like, great idea. They could be like, Need. buy this human poo in a jar. And I'd be like, okay, maybe. Like it's just, I'm just an idiot who will buy anything. Same, we constantly are buying, our houses are full of, yeah, we're stuff we've seen so on TikTok. Stupid, so I'm such a stuff. consumer. Same. I know I hate it about myself. Worst yeah. thing that you've bought off a TikTok ad, like immediate regret. Oh, I did buy this like off-brand lip 
plumper that like it's just basically oh. like chili oil. It works. <laughs> so I, like, I used it some days on Bridgerton, but it's what, when you wanted to look like you had a mouth problem. Just like I wanted to look like I had nice lips. Oh my god! I yeah, the sting. But like it, it works. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But like I don't know what's in that. Listen, thank you so much for sitting down. Chatting with me is so thank good. You. I can't wait to watch the last two episodes. Yes. Well done, you guys. It? it was amazing. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much.